guys know I have a podcast. It's linked down below. It's Nicole Jacqueline podcast. I post new episodes every single Friday. My slime shop is restocked and it is linked down below. It's slimebyjacqueline.com. This video is sponsored by Every Plate, and I'll feature them at the end of this video. Just keep on watching and welcome to a day in my life as a small business owner. I am a slime shop owner. I have a small slime business and I have quite the day in my life video for you guys. I honestly do everything in one day. It can be quite an experience. So if you are curious about how a day in my life as a slime shop owner goes, then just keep on watching. Um, I'm giving you guys some inside tips and tricks on how to increase your sales um, for a business in general. And then also show you guys how I package my orders because I definitely have a system going on here. So first and foremost today, I'm getting my table set up. I have a few different table sizes. I have a three foot table and then I have a longer table as well. So today we are making some little extra baggies. So I got these really awesome hot pink little like silky bags from Uline and I'm going to be making little care card plus borax baggies and I actually have an exclusive discount code that I will be stickering on the care card and those are going to go in every single order since this past week up until the end of the year. And the code will be an amazing discount code for Black Friday, starting my Black Friday sale, November 26th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can use that code starting on the initial launch of the Black Friday sale throughout the end of the year. So definitely get your, sna get your slimes now, snatch them up. Sis, you get those slimes. I am actually going to be creating and launching my Halloween and fall slimes next week. I am preparing those right now, actually. So get hyped for that. But yeah, so I'm having, I love these bags. They are so fun. And I was going to make exclusive like extra business cards, but I forgot about these I have a ton of labels so I figured why not just save and do what I already have so I stickered the code and the details on the card here and then I added a little borax and put it in the baggie super self-explanatory now this is a great way to increase your sales now this offers your buyer a incentive to buy from you again but also to buy from you during a very fun time for the holidays and Black Friday and all of that but once I, once I finished making all those baggies, I am cleaning off my workspace. I love using the Meyer Clean Day Spray. It smells so, so good, you guys. I'm just living for it. Um, I had to film some big batch videos for my Instagram. And if you guys will see, I'm watching a little YouTube video in my AirPods. Um, I love watching. Her name is Ari. She's made by Ari J, I believe. She has an amazing like cosmetic and all that kind of business. She's so dope. I love her so much. Big fan. Um, but yeah, it's very inspirational to watch others that have other shops in general. So this is Oops All Berries. It smells just like Captain Crunch. Like it smells like you are putting your entire face into a box of Captain Crunch. Like it smells so good, you guys. I can't get over it. It's everything. And you guys always love this. So I made quite a bit for you guys this restock. And then I had to do a massive restock of Twinkie Bread. So Twinkie Bread in the past was a snow butter, but we've officially moved it into a butter slime, a thick clay heavy slime, because it's honestly more clay slime than a butter slime because it really isn't like equal parts. It's just entirely a ton of clay with a little bit of slime and the scent of it is everything. The texture is literally everything you guys and you guys, I just can't get over how great it is. Now, whenever I have a little personal batch that I play with on camera, take my gloves off and play with it with my bare hands, I place it into a separate container so I can store it up later for my own personal use, just so you are clear how that works. Um, now I am working on making some more of my Jacqueline's Loaf slime. Jacqueline's Loaf is a butter slime. It's so good. It smells like honey buttered rolls, which smells just like a cinnamon bun almost. 
not entirely. It's hard to describe scents, but it has a really nice cinnamony fall kind of vibe. Here's me doing the cursive hand, if you know, you know. <laughs> and I have so many different kinds of scents, you guys. Look at all my little fall Halloween scents. You guys get hype for my next restock. I'm trying to restock the first weekend of October. That might be a little aggressive because that's literally in like four days, but stay tuned because you never know. So I got this all mixed up, added some fresh scent into it, and then I began to package up the few Twinkie breads and the few electric peaches that I needed to pack up for orders. So I hate to do it this way, but sometimes I let my slimes go like, like totally out of stock, but I let them still sell, which is called like having no inventory. It just sells when it's out of stock. It's not keeping track of it anymore because I'm at a point in my slime business, in my slime shop where I have enough supplies for months to make my basics. If I'm going to sell a slime out of stock, then I should know that I have the essentials to make it if need be, and of course need be. And I'm just getting a little camera angle for my YouTube channel because it can be a little dizzying to watch these clips. Um, I have listed timestamps down below. It goes over to um, no more of this angle if you are dizzied by it. I'm so sorry. But yes, I'm packaging up, still watching my girl Ari. I literally just think it's so inspirational to watch other business owners package and talk about their businesses. It's just like literally so inspiring. You guys, something big is coming in my shop. You just gotta like stay tuned. I will just say that. Okay. Okay. Um, so yeah, getting some Twinkie breads packaged up. I didn't want to include a ton of this footage because it's very unsatisfying to watch me package with gloves because it doesn't stick entirely, but it can be, it can kind of latch on a little bit, which makes me stressed out, honestly, to watch. Like it gives me anxiety um, because it's very unsatisfying, but you know, sanitarium, AF, but it is so unsatisfying to watch this. So I didn't put a ton of this in for you guys because it's a little, a little rough to watch these clips. But just an FYI, I just got a brand new shipment of the low profile jars. And I have these low profile ones that you're seeing right now. This is called, these are the high profile, I guess you could call them. Um, and then I have a ton of the low profile ones, which basically is the other size of jar that you'll see in my shop. And... I didn't mean to have to use these again, but I'm just using them for Twinkie bread. And I have a few other slimes that are packaged in these solely because I literally ran out of the low profile jars, but just stay tuned. For the most part, every slime in my slime shop is the original jar that we had just transitioned into. Um, but I guess, honestly, in the next month or two, I'll be totally out of these taller ones, but I'm only planning on using the tall ones for Twinkie bread, but yes. Okay, once I have all of my slimes packaged for the orders, then I switch over to packaging them up. Now, this, again, I had everything, literally everything packed except what I needed to package up of the slimes I made a while ago once they had sat, you know, settled into their containers, got them all packaged up, and then got them out on their way. Uh, another way to inc increase your sales is to limit your processing time as much as possible. Um, in the last month, I have been doing, I'm officially doing everything myself again. So I had really a hard time adjusting, but I did that pretty fast, in my opinion, to doing everything myself again. So I really have cut my processing time down incredible amount of time. I am honestly processing my orders in one business day, maybe two business days in the last week-ish, and then from here on out. Obviously, during the holidays, it will change, but as fast as you possibly can, as but like don't literally kill yourself over, you know, getting things out as fast as you can because sometimes life happens. But what I'm just saying is people do want their products fast because they're just excited about it. So try to get it out as fast as you possibly can. Um, but like be good to yourself at the same time. Self-care is very important. Um, but yeah, so I'm getting everything stickered here, getting all the Twinkie Bread stickers. Twinkie Bread is so iconic. Every single order for the most part has Twinkie Bread. As you can see, the other type of jar on these shelves right now, that is the low profile jar and then the taller ones, what I'm referring to. 
anyways. <laughs> so now I'm packaging up my Oops All Berry Slime. It is, smells so good, you guys, just like Captain Crunch. I am so in love with it. The scent of this never gets old for me. I just think it is such a timeless scent. It's very nostalgic and just so freaking amazing. Once I finished up that, it is so, so time for dinner. It was about 8 p.m. It's kind of late for me to have dinner, but this video is sponsored by Every Plate, and I am so excited, you guys. As a entrepreneur, as a small business owner in general, I'm always so, so busy and I honestly don't have time slash don't prioritize eating super healthy or just super good fueling meals for myself. Every plate makes that so easy for me and it came with three amazing meal it choices. It is incredibly affordable. It's only $4.99 per serving, but if you guys use my code NicoleJacklin3, get your kit for $2.99. Literally $3, you guys. That is insane. That's such a great deal. And I am just so obsessed right now with cooking and I can be a little intimidated by the kitchen. Not going to lie. I've been trying to kind of break out of that recently. You guys, tonight we are making crispy Caesar chicken. So delicious. So first off, I'm beginning by cutting up my carrots and potatoes and then tossing my carrots into the oven with a little dash of olive oil on top. And then once those are, you know, while they are cooking up in the oven, I am cutting up my potatoes. Then once I have finished making those, I am beginning to make my little toppings for the chicken. So I'm mixing together my Parmesan and the breadcrumbs. And then I'm taking some of this Caesar dressing as long as some salt and pepper and topping it on top of the little chickens. And then I'm taking the cheese and breadcrumbs and topping that on top of it all. Just a lot of topping happening here. And then I'm adding this onto the pan and cooking them up in the oven. I cooked them for a good like 20 minutes or so and they came out so, so delicious. This was such an elaborate fun meal, but it wasn't even that elaborate, which honestly does make me feel more confident about making more fun meals. And I have two other other ones right now in my kitchen to make that I'm so hyped for. They're going to be so good and every plate is customizable. You can now choose your own protein. You can even double up on meals that you do like or ones that you don't like. You can be very in control of that, which I'm just so obsessed with. So I will have my code down below for you guys to go check out. And the link that I have down below takes you right to the website with the code automatically applied for you guys. And thank you again to every plate for sponsoring this video. Then once I have finished up my dinner, it is time to get back into it. Time to get into packaging some orders up. Now that I have my slimes all packaged, it is time to get down to it. So I was trying out a different method for packing my, my slime shop and I decided to lay out the orders that had the written order on the back of it. Now, to be honest, I don't love this method. I think it's a little messy. I think it can be a little confusing. Um, if I were to do it again, I would just do like five at a time and then I would package the rest as I kept going on. I found that to be a little messy, a little confusing to do it this way, but you know, that's why we are here to try things out. I packed my orders is I line the bottom with a tissue paper and then I add in the slimes that are bubble wrapped and bubble bags as well and then I add in some little pink paper to kind of make it just a super fun experience then I, of course I add in the care card if you want a full detailed video like showing a step-by-step -step, not split up version of this I would love to do a detailed version of that for you guys um, I think it'd be really fun to watch and yeah so you're noticing I am stickering things as I go that is because there I never stickered my Twinkie bread collection which I know I just should do it one day but it's just so perfectly stacked right now on my shelving so like why would I mess with that? You feel me? Do you feel me? All right. So yes, getting out all the orders. This is my second batch of the day because I packaged them um, half in the morning and then half now. I love to get them out as fast as possible. Um, now that I am just more in my routine of things, I have a much better routine of getting things out ASAP. And I have a new packaging style that I have been doing for the last week. Well, since I filmed this video like almost a week ago now, I 
have a new little style of packaging where I make it, I just am trying to make it a fun experience. So, you know, there's the pink paper and the tissue paper, and then there's the little, little like scrunched up papers as well. And I just love that as a buyer when it's a very fun experience because I'm not just buying the slime, I'm buying an experience. And that goes for any business in general. You are buying an experience and it makes me feel some type of way when the packaging is cute I just feel cozy I feel comfortable and that's just how I feel when I buy from a slime shop or just any business in general especially a homemade you know small business so that stuff does not go unnoticed and I actually have been getting a lot more larger orders like a lot more like larger in size per order recently which I'm so grateful for and I've had to um kind of go out and find some larger boxes because people will order like five giant air dry clays and they'll also order slime and supplies and all of that which is so cool and I'm just so thankful honestly I love this so much I'm just here for it honestly such a fun thing to be a part of like I literally can't even believe it but yes <laughs> if you are curious I do sell slime supplies as well I'm going to be launching a Christmas little slime supplies line right really soon actually where I will sell little custom baggies of Christmas supplies for slime shops and yes they do for that I do talk about things on my Instagram first slime by Nicole Jacqueline and I also sell some slime jars and all of that kind of supplies. So I'm packaging up an order right now that's actually going to, I want to say it was somewhere in India. I'm pretty positive. So it's a very large order. So I was super just like humbled. It was such a cool experience. And I love, 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 love you guys so much. But that's pretty much how a day in my life goes. It's about 11 p.m. now and I've been working in my shop for 12 and a half hours and I am so tired and ready to go to bed. Thank you again to every plate we're talking in this video. I will link every plate down below for you guys. And if I should do more of these small business kind of videos, comment down below, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you are interested in that. And yes, you guys, I will see you guys really soon. All right. Good night. Bye.